Hi Sanam, good evening. Yeah, hi sir, good evening. How are you? Uh, wonderful Sanam. So our today's interaction is going to be very very cool, uh, informative for students because uh, yes, when it comes to Europe, uh, it is not one country, uh, Sanam. It is a continent, and uh, there are so many very good destination for Indian students. We call Scandinavian countries. Germany, Italy, Spain, Belgium, so many countries, right? And yes. Indian students are joining the top universities in these countries. Now, many yes, students ask me a very pertinent question, a very valid question that, uh, uh, sir, what is the salary in PhD? Uh, because PhD is a job in Europe. So they ask, what is the salary in PhD? And uh, what will be our, our living expenditure there, uh, expenses uh, in, in those countries, so that we can at least get an idea like, uh, can we survive and can we save some money over there uh, or not? Because when it comes to PhD uh, things, then a salary, yes, that is scholarship you are getting and expenditure kitna hai. Exactly. So very quickly, I want to take your uh, you know uh, input on that. So different countries which Indian students go, and what is the salary and what is the expenditure, if you can tell us that. Okay, sir. Um, so firstly, I'll tell you there's a lot dif lot of difference, uh, just like the US. They they also have uh, like rural uh, campuses, urban campuses, depending on which they distribute salary, right? Yeah. Same way, uh, a PhD in Europe also draws similar uh, salaries across the continent. So when it comes to, for example, Italy, Italy is a very nice destination. I mean, people go for their um, vacations and everything. Even from Europe, they go to vacations for uh, vacations to Italy. But the thing is, um, by the time this um, living in Italy has gone very expensive. On contrary, uh, you just get bare minimum salary there, which uh, which usually is not very uh, sufficient for even one person sometimes. So that's why uh, I think you should try to go for a country where not only you, but your spouse can also um, go with. Mm -hmm. For example, countries like Norway, Sweden, Finland, Denmark, Germany, even Germany also. Mm -hmm. um, so if I talk about country-wise distribution, then uh, starting from Norway, Sweden, Finland, Denmark, they all share a similar salary structure and a person almost draws uh, like uh, 3,000 to 4,000 euros. But uh, on contrary, in Italy, it, it uh, goes as low as 1,200, 1,300 euros. And uh, rent sometimes goes for 700, 800 euros per month, right? So it's kind of a very difficult situation when it comes to uh, salary structure all over Europe. Second thing is, uh, when we say about quality of education as well, then uh, Italy has uh, very nice institutions. Uh, they have very uh, top 100 QS ranking universities as well. Because if you do PhD from Italy, then you can do postdoc from anywhere in the world. That's a saying here in Europe. But uh, but on contrary, Europe uh, is vast, right? Northwest mm -hmm. Europe also has very nice, uh, very nice universities. And when it mm -hmm. comes to PhD, you should rather think of professors not not very much restricted for QS rent. For example, mm -hmm. if a person is getting PhD in NTNU, uh, my suggestion mm -hmm. is go for NTNU PhD compared with Polymy Italy, mm -hmm. considering all these factors. Polymy has mm -hmm. almost 111 rank, but uh, mm -hmm. NTNU has 300, 345 rank. However, mm. they have a lot more funding available. They have a lot more quality of life. You can think of staying mm. in that country, etc., etc. So QS mm. rank is not everything. Uh, mm. You should also see salary. Along with that, you mm. should see quality of life and what all you can bring along with you. Uh, mm. For example, if you want to bring your family, if you mm -hmm. want to save some money, then these countries mm. are much better. Yes. Mm. Okay. So, so uh, I'll ask you uh, quickly one or two things which normally students keep on asking me here. Uh, yes, Germany. Uh, Germany is a favorite destination for Indian students. Yeah, so do you exactly. think Germany offers good salaries and lesser living expen expenses and hence uh, maybe good quality of life? Okay, quality of life, unbeatable, Germany. Very nice. Mm -hmm. But uh, living expense, again, very high. Uh, mm -hmm. On contrary, the salary you get is kind of low because you will, uh, you will get uh, and at the end you will have nothing after spending um, salary that you get in Germany and it's still a stipend in Germany not a salary so when it says as as a stipend then uh, there are different clause attached with stipend however if it is a salary then you are actually contributing to pension what not I mean it your future is getting secured in that country so that's why it's kind of uh, uh, important to think in that sense as well I mean everyone can study it's not a big deal but along with study and education you should also think like that 
so uh, you were giving some kind of comparative analysis sanyam so in euros term when we talk about germany how much uh, in it's in, uh, yeah it again depends on uh, region to region for example yeah, it, mm-hmm. yeah munich is very expensive so they draws mm-hmm. 3500 to uh, 3000 to 3500 but for mm-hmm. some uh, rural campuses it might go to 2500 to 3000 as well Mm-hmm. and uh, so, students should also be aware of those uh, situations where um, for example germany has started some phd positions like they mm-hmm. they they what they say is 60% salary of an year we will give you and 40% mm-hmm. you have to search from somewhere else which is a part time mm-hmm. so don't fall in such traps rather go for 100% fully funded phd positions in germany okay so when we talk about scandinavian countries norway sweden denmark so uh, as per the discussion we had as per that i what i understand is like these countries offer very good quality of life and also very yeah. good salary and living expenses may not be very high also am i correct in that uh, uh, no sir uh, living expenses are also very high yeah. along okay. with that mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. you actually stay happy after paying lot more uh, for mm-hmm. the living ex- expenses basically living expenses includes your tax as well right you pay you are paying mm-hmm. tax a high so, a lot more tax yeah. so, so you stay happy after paying that is there any ideal destination sanam is there any ideal destination then high salary low living expenses uh-huh. very good quality of life is there something like that sir uh, rural campuses of scandinavia for sure uh-huh. if you are in a rural campus of scandinavia you will save lot more money after uh, even after paying lot more taxes and everything okay, i have so, been so to rural campus before clear. yeah scandinavia yeah. make it more clear yeah okay uh, rural campus of norway for example um, colleges like uh, let's say amdar uh, university like and it is a nice destination however ntnu has uh, started uh, like uh, people are now adapted right they have started charging high rent rent as well now since they know students are coming to ntnu but uh, mm. it's a trade off sir i mean mm. so can, is there some some university or some campus is coming to your mind when you are saying rural campus of scandinavian countries yes sir i can name a few for yeah. example uh, in denmark i can name uh, so there's a south denmark university it's a nice university as well as it's a uh, like semi urban campus then mm-hmm. there is a uh, Ro- roskilde university in denmark then alborg university where mm-hmm. our student is already there then mm-hmm. uh, then i i can say tromso university of tromso uh, tromso mm-hmm. is that uh, like far north north pole it's almost near to north pole but it's it's mm-hmm. i have been there and it's a very nice place um, okay. then from sweden i can say uh, lund university it's a it's a student city mm-hmm. lund mm-hmm. so it's mm-hmm. a nice university you, you get mm-hmm. more money and you don't need to pay a lot of rent there as well mm-hmm. so these are some good universities yes sir mm-hmm. so i think students should consider it because you know what happens is students have heard some names like munich technical university munich no doubt b milano i think milano university polytechnic yeah. polytechnic would be milano yeah. so those names students have heard and uh, no doubt they are the best university but at the same time as you said in the beginning there are other parameters other factors also they have to consider and exactly. these kind of hidden uh, best opportunities they are not aware so yeah. certainly uh, i think the discussion which we had will uh, provide some uh, kind of uh, perspective to the students and uh, uh, also uh, correct me if i'm wrong that uh, when you think of uh, some universities which people are not much crazy about though they are very good competition may also be less and the probability exactly. of you getting it may exactly be yeah i was coming to the same point yes sir it's very easy to get into those universities as well yeah you So a wonderful uh, yes, Anam, that gives us an idea as mentor also to suggest students such opportunities so that yes. you know uh, those uh, who are uh, not having very high credentials may think uh, you know uh, also get the opportunities in these universities so yes, just for means, an advertisement yeah. uh, i wanted to mention our student um, he was selected for a university in sweden it's a, okay. it's kind of a, a university in a 50000 population uh, city it's it's mm. kind of very small town when it compared mm. with india and mm. uh, he's like kind of enjoying his uh, phd there i mean uh, i am in a conversation with him and mm. uh, he's in sweden uh, he is in uh, swedish university of life sciences so okay. the people have not heard of this university i bet mm. many people have not heard but uh, he's enjoying his life he's getting the same salary as a person in gothenburg or stockholm would draw and he's mm. saving lot more money by paying less rent and mm. uh, uh, living happily basically 
wonderful wonderful yeah chalo sanam so that brings us to an end of this uh, you know session wonderful session and most interactive session and i request yeah. you to uh, provide these kind of perspectives every week to indian students here back home so that they yeah. get opportunities and they explore the opportunities thank yes, you sir. sanam thank you sir bye bye